everybody. It's Anne popping back on behind my apron. Happy Monday. As I'm here waiting for the snow flurries to start. Yes, I like the snow when I'm not traveling in it. Um, but it hasn't started here yet as I keep looking out hoping it's getting closer. But I decided it was a soup night. And so I thought I'm going to pop on live and share this really easy, fun tomato basil recipe with you guys again. I know I did this a long time ago, but I've made a couple tweaks to it. So I thought I'd pop on here and share with you. So if you're joining me, let me know if you're making soup tonight. If so, which kind of soup are you making? What's the favorite at your house? Um, but I'm doing the easy tomato basil because it is so fast using the cooking blender and I don't have to watch it. So literally I can put all the ingredients in here and walk away and go do some other things so I don't have to be stirring on the stove. So I'm gonna show you how I did it uh, or how I'm going to do it so you guys will have the recipe. And then I'm really hopeful though that I pick up another soup idea from you guys. So put it in the comments what a favorite soup is or if you have soup going on tonight too, um, that would be great to know about. So the um, cooking blender is one of our three big electrics that I love. So I love the cooking black blender, the air fryer, which I have tucked behind over here and the quick cooker. And you guys, this is the last week that they're on sale. So they're on sale for everybody. We don't do this often, so it expires on the 31st. So if you've been looking or wanting one of these, like this cooking blender is in the class of the top of the line Vitamix, um, but ours cleans and cooks both also. And if you're a smoothie maker or smoothie enjoyment, um, make sure you get the smoothie attachment too. But they're all 25% off this week, last week. So I thought I'm gonna use it again. I'm gonna come back on and tell you guys again. So I'm actually using the recipe that comes with the little cooking guide that comes with the book. But you guys, there's so many things in here um, because there's all these different settings from making a smoothie to grinding something. Like, yes, you can take a block of Parmesan cheese and grind it quick in here. Um, soup setting, jam setting, you know, talk about strawberry jam, uh, sauce setting or heated puree. So you can make things like gravy in here, okay? So you have a lot of choices with it. But I'm under the soup category and I'm doing the very last one, which is tomato basil. But there's um, beets, cauliflower, mushroom, bisque, potato, cheddar soup that's awesome, uh, sweet potato, and um, tomato basil. So I'm going to do tomato basil tonight. So here's the way I do it. I use vegetable broth um, as a base, but you only need a quarter of a cup of this. So I'm going to just put in a quarter of a cup, and I'll set this aside. So put in the vegetable broth. Then I'm going to put in a entire teaspoon of salt. That's pretty important when you're dealing with tomatoes, I think. Then I'm going to put in two Roma tomatoes that all I've done is cut them in half and an onion that all I've done is cut it in half. They're going right in the pot. Then I'm going to use a whole quart of whole tomatoes. And you guys, I happen to have this wonderful mother-in-law that cans all these for me, but just go buy whatever you like at the store. And this is one spot you could tweak it. There is some really wonderful fire roasted tomatoes um, that you can buy at the store. And I really like the garlic fire roasted. So if you don't have someone um, that cans for you, go get those if you like it to have a little bit of a smoky heat flavor. So this I'm just going to put on the top. And then I am going to add two garlic cloves. So I have this bulb of garlic here and I'm going to just pop out two whole cloves. So, and these are big. And sometimes I put in four cloves because we like fresh garlic. Um, but here's one of the other things about it that makes this so fast and easy. Generally, when you guys see me cooking, you see me using the garlic press to squeeze um, the garlic into a recipe, but the blender's gonna do all that for me. So I just need to peel the skin off. So I use the easy silicone peeler. So this is just a tube that you put one of the cloves in and then put it down on your counter and roll it really hard and fast. Just push down and roll. And it is taking this, oops, it actually busted. This one was pretty soft inside. But it's taking the skin right off for me. So I can just put the whole cloves in there. This one's gigantic, so let's see how this one does. 
just roll it so that you get the skin off. You'll kind of hear it crunching, there you go. Oops, it came out the end. There you go. So it has the whole big fat clove that's been peeled. Put it in. And then I'm gonna turn this on for a minute so you guys see what happens. So you have this lid, but then I'll shut it off again because it gets loud. So you have this lid that when you put it on your blender and lock it, it talks to you. Then you pick what, what you want for your setting down here. Because remember, this is a cooking blender. So this is actually gonna heat and cook and grind that all up as it's going. So I'm gonna turn the dial to the soup choice. And then literally, all I do is hit start. So listen for just a second. So I'll shut it off so it's not annoying to you guys. But that is going to cook this soup and puree it as we're going until it's to the right temperature. Then it's actually gonna stop and it'll make a noise and beep and tell you to add something. And in this particular recipe, you add fresh basil. So I will take just the leaves right off the stems of the fresh basil and I will just open up the top and drop it right in here. You can add extra ingredients in here. And remember I told you I've, I like doctor this up a little bit. So I like to put a little garlic and herb seasoning in here that's a blend from our pantry line when it gets um, closer to being done. And then, you know, this is really a vegetable-based soup. There's not any protein in here. Um, we're gonna have it tonight with the leftover savory waffles from the weekend that I made that I'll show you in a minute. But when it gets to the add spot, I'm also gonna put in a pouch of this, which is our pea protein. So this is one of our enrichables, which you can buy um, the bag of it, uh, or you can subscribe to it and get it shipped to you every month. We have the kale and fiber too, but you won't taste this at all, okay? And it doesn't um, change your recipe, but it adds the protein for you. So a lot of people love these in smoothies too, but I'm gonna add this to the tomato basil soup tonight as we go along. So I just wanted to know, and then when it's all done cooking and we're done eating it, you guys, you just rinse it out, you fill it with three cups of water and a couple drops of Dawn dish soap, and you hit the wash button, and then it heat washes this just like a dishwasher, okay? So for all of you that have a blender that you've had to clean out the mess before, that might be my favorite part. So that's the deluxe cooking blender, but let me tell you what else we're having with it for dinner tonight, because I think this is fun. So on Saturday, I posted that I made savory waffles. So instead of you know normal waffles that you're gonna do with butter and maple syrup, this batter actually has shredded Swiss cheese and some diced up little pieces of ham in it. And then you cooked it like a waffle. And um, that recipe recommended that you frost it. Basically the topping is a sour cream mustard spread. But tonight I'm gonna just pop it in the air fryer on reheat for three minutes and then cut it in the quarters. And we'll use this as our dunking with tomato basil soup instead of like a grilled cheese, like I know a lot of people like. So I just froze, I made them all and froze the extra ones because they warm up wonderfully. So make sure that um, you give something like that a try. And savory waffles are really popular right now. So if you like your waffle iron, that would be a fun thing to do as well. And remember, I'm asking you guys to put your favorite soup recipe in the comments or the name of it so I can search for it because I'm wanting to add some more soups and chowders to our winter um, list of things that we love. And then this is the last week also of my challenge to all of you to do the January share. So if you share this video to your timeline, it will pop up and I can see that. And then you'll actually be in the drawing for my product giveaways that I'm doing for everybody that's shared throughout the month of January. So that ends this month too. And the product giveaways will probably be on, on Sunday the 31st. So watch for me to pop back on live with that as well. So that's kind of fun. And then, um, a couple other things I thought I'd tell you. This is flashing at me because I stopped it. So, but once I hit the button again for this to go, you literally can go walk away and do something else because I told you it'll talk to you and it'll tell you to add. So it'll be to the point where you add the basil and I will add my garlic and herb seasoning. 
um, so you don't have to like baby it or monitor it. And it's that way with everything you're making. I did nacho cheese sauce in it not very long ago. Um, you can do that with anything, homemade hot chocolate. All of those types of recipes are in the cooking guide. I didn't create these. So that's just a fun thing to know about. And then um, lastly, um, um, Pampered Chef Wise, uh, just a comment about um, the month of January. We're also doing a 2021 kickoff blast. So if you or someone you know, maybe it's a sister or a daughter or somebody like that, if you know somebody that um, is looking to stock their kitchen with a lot of products or wants to earn some money, you guys, you can um, join our business for $20.21 January only. So again, that expires on the 31st too. So kind of tuck that away. Because remember, I started to do this for a couple months and it's going to be 30 years coming up soon so it's just really been a fun um, thing to do this and i can see shelly's asking me and how long does this cook for you know shelly i think it maybe it'll take about 15 minutes or so to get up to the um, top temperature where it says stop everything's different i have found one of the longest cooking things is the homemade hot chocolate because it's such a slow rise in temperature, because of course it's a milk product and you don't want to curdle it. But um, lots of things are super fast, like a smoothie is 60 seconds, so those types of things. And then I promised you to be doing some product reviews um, of things I found at the store. And there's another, tra or not Trader Joe's, it's an Aldi's find that I found recently, the last time I was to Aldi's that we've really liked. So if you have an Aldi's that you can run to sometime, I've given you several suggestions of things that we like from there. But this is an Aldi's container of their queso blanco. So it's in the refrigerator section by their dips and things. And this is just a really great blend and it has 50 calories per serving. And um, I love it because the very first two ingredients are white cheddar cheese and milk. So you know they're starting with the real stuff. And we have found this to be great. It, it will heat up really nice, but we've actually found it to be a great spread. Like I did a grilled wrap last week that had some um, cooked chicken and some vegetables in it. And I used this for the spread inside. So it's called Queso Blanco. It's all these brand, the Happy Farms, you know, they use that in their refrigerated sections. Um, I would give this a try again. It is something that I have liked that I would um, do again. And I will just share one thing that I didn't like so much uh, that was from Trader Joe's. And I love Trader Joe's hummus, but I didn't like the container that had the three flavors of stacked hummus. Um, they were like fighting with each other. It's like you didn't really know which flavor you were tasting. So I won't put that one in my cart again. So just a little heads up on that. So I'm looking quick to see if there's anybody else. Christina says she hasn't made, used her blender. Oh my gosh. All right, Christy, get it out and make something this week. Soup is easy. Nacho cheese sauce, your kids would love that. Homemade hot chocolate tomorrow if the blizzard really happens. Um, get it out and use it. So I think that's it, you guys. If there's something you wanna know, let me know, but I'm waiting. I don't see very many soup comments yet. So I wanna know what is your go-to super chowder and remember the electric sale is only good through Sunday. So I think that's it for tonight. Happy Monday and I hope the snow starts soon. See you later.